Hi, and welcome to Toyo Time with your host, Dan the Product Man. This is Tire Basics Part 1, Understanding the Numbers. On the left of the board is a tire example size. On the top center are some of the definitions and ratings. The bottom center is your speed rating chart. Top right are some example load ratings with a calculation of how to figure out your minimum load rating and some basic definitions on the bottom right. In this example, we're using a P275R16-82S tire size. The P is the tire type, which stands for P-metric. It is the most commonly used tire type in the U.S. You also have a T for temporary tires, LT for light duty truck tires, and C for European measurements. The next number is your width in millimeters, measured from the sidewall to sidewall. The number after that is your height aspect ratio, measured in a percentage, and that is achieved by taking the height of the section divided by the width from sidewall to sidewall. After that is your construction type. Most commonly used is the radial, or the R, but you also have diagonal construction type, belted construction type, and run flat construction type. The diameter of the wheel is the next number measured in inches. After that is your load rating and your speed rating. So in this example, our P-metric tire is 200 millimeters wide from sidewall to sidewall with a 75% height aspect ratio, which means it's 150 millimeters tall in this section. It is a radial construction to be mounted on a 16-inch wheel with a, speed, a load rating of 82, which is 1,047 pounds per tire with a speed rating of S, which allows for up to 112 miles per hour maximum speed. Your speed ratings range from 81 to 186 miles per hour, and then there's a special tire rating for over 149 miles per hour. On your load rating, they range from a zero rating through a 150 rating. Most tires are rated between 75 and 105. To calculate your load rating that you need for your vehicle, Take the total vehicle weight, in this example is 5,000 pounds, add your total possible payload including all passengers, in this example is 1,500 pounds, that gives you a total load of 6,500 pounds, since there are four tires on most vehicles, divide it by four, and that gives you a load capacity of 1,625 pounds per tire. On the load rating chart, this is a 98 or higher load rating. On the bottom right, you'll see some definitions. Tread depth is measured in 30 seconds of an inch. In most states, once your tire re reaches 230 seconds, it is deemed unsafe and illegal to drive on. This is where you measure with a penny, and if you see the top of Lincoln's head, you have gone past 230 seconds of an inch. Most tires from the factory have a 10 to 14, 30 seconds tread depth initially, which gives you a usable range of 8 to 12, 30 seconds. You also have a traction grade. There are four grades of AA, A, B, and C. This measures its ability to take lateral force. Then you have a temperature grade, which is A, B, or C which is ability to resist temperatures from higher speeds, and a tread wear grade, which is in the form of a three-digit number, like 100, 200, 300, 540. This number is very vague as it is assigned by the manufacturers and not by a third party. If you really want to know how long a tire should last, take a look at their warranty on the tire. Most companies will warranty their tire prorated between 40 and 80,000 miles. Many things can vary that rating. Your tire will last different lengths based upon its condition, the tire pressure, the road conditions, weather, and how long it sits in between use. I will do another video part two that will talk about actual tire wear and how to make your tires last longer. If you have any other questions, you can email me at dantheproductman at gmail.com or visit me on Facebook at facebook.com slash danTheProductMan. Thanks for watching.